This is a story of a physically challenged woman, a mother of four, whose name is Ruth Matthews, who went to Mercy City in search of miracles and hopes to walk again. This physically challenged woman lost one of her sons in Mercy City. In 2019, the founder of this church is Jeremiah Omoto Fofenye, who has made people all over the world to come to his church because of the miracles he's putting out there on social media. How can a man of God think prayers can reduce fat? Many people have complained that they have been defrauded by the so-called man of God, Africans. Open your eyes, even the Bible said in Matthew 24, 24, For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elects. These bloggers have risen up to help the crippled woman who has no money to fight a case and has been intimidated by this so-called prophet or motto, who has been using his spiritual children to threaten this poor woman and her family, putting fear in them and not allowing them to stay in their own homes, but have to be hiding for their lives. All Ijili and prophets have been asking is the CCTV footage of the said dates that this little boy was adopted so that the mother would be able to identify the adopters. But this prophet has been adamant, paying deaf ears to the cry of this woman. He threw her out of the church premises and has been threatening anyone who cares to help this woman. And after almost three years, Many people have come into the picture. He began to give fake prophecies. Many protests have been carried out by people who are moved with compassion and want justice for this little boy, baby testimony. He made the prophecy in the month of March. The month of March ended without the baby being found. After that, he began to threaten the people asking for justice and for the CCTV footage to be released. Now, baby testimony will be five years old and we are not giving up. One of our mortal spiritual daughters, prophetess, Precious Lungo, has been identified as one of the women who adopted the baby at age two from her mother. Many damage control have come up during the search, such as the child may be in Zambia or a place in Nigeria at a time in Cameroon. Please, we need the government and anyone who can help to come to our aid and help this physically challenged woman who does not have anyone but a foreigner in South Africa by the name of Prof X and other bloggers who has been helping her to fight and encourage her to be strong. Many has come out to say hurtful words against this woman. Please, Ijele and Profex and all other bloggers are only asking for the CCTV footage. And asking for the CCTV footage is not a defamation of characters. Many people that have been involved have been bullied and thrown into prison, like Apostle Cassie, and was only pardoned when his aged mother and other members of his family went to beg on his behalf. The so-called prophet Omoto has been bragging to be the richest prophet in Nigeria and no one can question him. He even went as far to threaten Prof X and threaten to go to South Africa with his private jet to deal with him. Many have been bribed to stop talking about the adopted child. We need the help of every good citizens and God's sent lawyers who will not compromise and get justice for baby testimony. And we are asking the government to come and look into this case and help us get justice for baby testimony, justice for baby testimony, justice for baby testimony. We need justice for baby testimony. Let this child be reunited with his family. This is a story of a